I was on the on the precipice of like, listen, man, I'm trying to tell you this is why we this is why we pick who we pick, right? But your man, he staged an epic comeback and a comeback for the ages, man. Nate Mayhem Manus showed why his nickname is Manus or is Mayhem, excuse me, <laughs> is because when he gets dropped, man, he says he said it himself. He says I got put out, I got woke back up, and that brought out the brawler in me. I was able to let my hands go. Boom. What do you know? Gravely, who fell in love with his hands, got put out, man. I need to ask you this. Is it not more impressive that Nate Maness, a man who doesn't have the most UFC experience, who only has one loss on his career, he moves to 14-1 and one now, got dropped for the first time in his career via headshot, right? He's only been dropped once before via body shot, wakes back up and doesn't doubt himself, instead goes to killer mode. Like, is that not impressive to you? Because most of the time, what do you hear? Someone who hasn't suffered much adversity, they get dropped and then they start falling apart. They don't know what to do because they're not winning. What do you think? Man, that is so impressive, Derek. That's what it is to be a fighter, too. And that's that mindset that we always talk about, man. That's that David Goggins shit where, like, oh, you hit me? Oh, we in it now. Like, yeah. we, we see in red now. We're going to fight. Now it's an actual scrap. We always talk about on this show how the first round is kind of a match, you know, kind of a, an, an exhibition, if you will. And then the second and third are really when the dog comes out. And we saw Nate Maness get cracked hard, and that dog came out. And it kind of goes a little bit to what I was saying about Gravely, where uh, – if he would have had a little bit more power to him, because he's he's very much a sniper, and he he had a perfect shot on Manus that put him out. But if he had a little bit more power, he might have been able to actually sleep him. Where Nate Manus came back, and he didn't, you know, he felt that crack and came back up like, oh, okay, now it's time, man. You love to see it. That's exactly what you want in a fighter, especially somebody who's kind of uh, younger in the UFC and doesn't necessarily have his stripes yet. It's going to be a, a good good comings for Nate Manus here in the future, man. What you think? Well, I agree with you, man. I do think that this kind of put him on the map a little bit. Like, do you like so I'm going to I'm going to go in a little bit more, but just really quickly. Do you think that this elevated his stock that like now people are going to be like, oh, that guy Nate Main is remember him? Or do you think this is still such a small scale bout that he's got a couple more fights before he gets up there? I could see needing a couple more fights to the casuals, um, but a lot of the hardcore fans, man, they know Tony Gravely is just an absolute dog in there. So that elevated his uh, Nate Manus' stock a lot, to, in my book man. anyway. No, absolutely. I completely agree with you, man. He did close as a plus 160 underdog, man. So he pulled the upset here. This is his fourth win in a row. This one got performance of the night bonus as well. And I think it's not just because of it was a crazy comeback, but knowing Dana White and you know the UFC brass being like, oh, you did that to Gravely? Okay, a wrestler? like that okay okay now let me ask you about this man why do you think wrestlers who end up having good hands always fall to, de to the detriment of not using what got them to the big show man there's one person who has done has not faltered yet but is kind of moving in that tra uh, trajectory and that's the nigerian nightmare kamaru usman you know what i'm saying but he's a different caliber a different level tony gravely at 135 pounds where the fists are flying they're you know wicked fast you know what i mean got crazy pop behind him i mean a striker like nate manis he knew what he was getting into fighting a striker and still wanted to stand up just because he got overzealous and he dropped him earlier why do you think this continues to happen aj i think it has to be the media like um presentation of it everybody hears you know humpson out there nobody wants to be like like uh brown haired humpson mm -hmm. and uh so it, it's really kind of like a, a presence of mind where you think like if i wrestle this guy nobody's gonna like it you know i'm not yeah. gonna get the performance bonus everybody's gonna talk shit but I cracked him one time. Maybe I can do it again. And you kind of really start to fall in love with that, though, that aspect. And I mean, when you're throwing, you know, knocking people out, it's a lot more flashy, too, than when you're just wrestling people, especially if that's your style. You know, everyone's expecting it. So. No, I'm with you, man. I do think that in his next fight, we will see a lot more wrestling from Tony Gravely, man. I think he will have to double down on it. Um, and also, he came off a knockout in his last fight, man. So it's kind of in a way where Davey Grant came off of those two back-to-back -back knockouts. Then he fought... Uh who did he fight? Cheeto Vera, right? And Cheeto Vera just put a beating on him. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of one of those situations where it's you fall in love with it, man. You got to use those other tools as well, man. At the end of the day, this was a huge, huge win for Nate Maynard, man. I can't even overstate how big of a win this is. He says Tony Gravely was a class act. They went, you know, shared words um, after the fight and all that good stuff, man. And uh, listen, I'm expecting big things from Nate Maynard. I want to see him matched up with someone nice. He says that he wants to get the fight with Adrian Yanez, even though Adrian Yanez is now booked to fight Davy Grant. So we'll see what happens with the winner of that. Yanez did tweet out and saying eventually they will lace them up together and share the octagon. So big, big win for Mayhem Mania.